All right. We got to ask some questions here about these gigs that supposedly Tiffany Haddish says that she lost. Because according to a few sources, she is still booked and projects are still going to come out. And I don't know whether or not she's going to be in the Ezra Miller boat, but we got to take a look at how you have not probably seen the last of her. So let's get into it, all right? You are now listening to The Unpopular Opinion, the R-U-O with your girl, Rondo, bringing you the latest on news, politics, entertainment, and more. Like, share, and tap in. What's up, y'all, and welcome to the platform. Now, we got to have a quick conversation because the last time that we spoke about Tiffany Haddish, she was basically stating to TMZ that she had pretty much lost everything. She lost her gigs. She didn't have no job due to the tapes and the footage that had came out of her doing inappropriate acts with a minor, the lawsuit with Aerie Spears. And y'all already know my opinion on this. I believe that this is basically her Hollywood collateral coming into the forefront and coming into the play. And I believe that many people in the industry have collateral just like this. Aerie Spears has been done in the industry and Tiffany Haddish just had her number cold. She did some foul ass shit on camera and they grabbed her by every little hair, every little blonde hair that she got remaining on her goddamn head. And rightfully so. But question is, have we seen the last of her? Now, she may not have the support that she probably had before these allegations when it pertained to her projects, but Tiffany Haddish does still have projects that are set to be released according to IMDb. And I don't know whether or not this is gonna be an Ezra Miller case where they don't know if they're gonna fire her, put her on the back burner as far as doing promo tours, if they're pretty much gonna cancel the films, I am not sure. But according to her IMDb profile, she does have three projects that are set to come out between now and 2023. The most recent release is going to be supposedly for November the 17th. And that is a film called Back on the Strip starring Kevin Hart and even Wesley Snipes. This film also stars JB Smoove, Phase on Love, Bill Bettelme, Gary Owen, and a few others. And the directors and the producers of this film was decided to put this together and stated that we have assembled an amazing cast with the industry's greatest comedic talent. It is a privilege to direct this film that I had one I co-wrote that has a cast of this caliber for my first feature film. And that is from one of the co-writers of this project, Chris Spencer. Now get this. Tiffany Haddish is also set to star in two films that are coming out in 2023. And one of them is a Disney film, The Haunted Mansion, all right? And that is set to come out on August the 11th, 2023, starring Rosario Dawson and Winona Ryder. She's also, according to her IMDb profile, set to have a film coming out in 2023 titled Landscape with Invisible Hand. And in that film, she's starring along William Jackson Harper and Josh Hamilton. Now, I would love to see what's gonna happen as far as the promos for these films and what's gonna happen for the 2023 films. I don't know what the hell is gonna happen for the film that's set to come out November 17th with Kevin Hart and Wesley Snipes, but I'm pretty sure that production is pissed. If I was Wesley Snipes and Kevin Hart, I would definitely be pissed. Kevin Hart has been known to go out to bat for Tiffany Haddish and defend her when it came to people stating that she can only play unidimensional roles of ghetto stereotypes of black women he went out and literally stuck his neck out for her on syndicated platforms defending her so it will be very very interesting to see how this is going to be promoted in the next few weeks because we're almost into october y'all already know how i feel about disney if you're returning on my channel disney may keep tiffany and try to act like all of this will go away and honestly this is the stuff that they kind of really condone in my opinion allegedly so they may not be bothered by the accusations the lawsuit the evidence that came with this stuff and the settlement that she pretty much had with the victims in this case. As far as the other film that's set to come out in 2023, I have no idea what they're gonna do. This is crazy and this is why I always say that your decisions and your choices always come back to bite you in the rear end. And they not only affect people that you hurt, 
they also affect people in your life around you, your family, your coworkers, because people have invested millions and millions of dollars into these projects and now they kind of really have to wear the stain with you. Like when's the last time we've seen Wesley Snipes in the film? Like, let's be honest, we're coming out of a pandemic and a lot of actors are trying to get really back to the bag. And Tiffany not only hindered her bag by her decisions, she's also hindering everyone else's bag as far as people who are working with her. From the people behind the scenes to put films together, to her co-workers who are on camera with her. This is a very unfortunate situation all the way around. Now, in my opinion, I do believe this. I do believe that Tiffany Haddish deserves the spanking that she's getting wholeheartedly, absolutely. Whatever gigs that she had booked that didn't come into fruition yet, she deserved to lose those gigs. And I do believe that the children's mother in my opinion, was behind all of this really coming into play. I do believe that the children were exploited and I believe that the children were exploited by their own mother and as well as Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears. That is my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, but I do believe that the adults in this situation were all down in cahoots together to exploit these children. And that's the sad part about it. But as we said here before, just because she's saying that she has lost gigs, this is probably not gonna be the last you see of her. The film that's coming out November 17th is pretty much gonna be a chop up for a loss, I'm sorry. The situation is still too fresh. The court of public opinion is still in a bag. And even though people have the attention span of a gnat, November 17th is too quick of a turnaround to pretty much try to get people to support this film. It's definitely not going to happen. So production definitely indeed is probably pissed. I would be too, but we just gonna have to see and sit back and see what happens in 2023. What do y'all think is definitely gonna happen? I would love to know your opinions down in the comment section. Drop them down below respectfully and let's talk about it. Let's have a conversation, y'all. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel with the notification bell hit for all new videos and make sure that you like this video to get it out into the algorithm, y'all, and share the content. I love y'all, y'all know this, and y'all take care, y'all be well. Peace.